Hi there, I'm Tom from Danfoss Climate Solutions. In this video, we'll give you some tips how to disassemble the EVT direct operator solenoid valve, which you see here, so that you can minimize service costs and ensure a safe and reliable valve operation. So let's jump into it. Here you see the tools which you can use to disassemble the EVT valve. Firstly, if mounted, remove the coil from the valve. Please note that it is extremely important to disconnect the electrical supply to the coil before removing it from the valve. Especially for an AC voltage coil, if you remove it while energized, the coil power consumption will instantaneously increase dramatically and the coil will burn out and it might melt and cause personal injury. So make sure to disconnect it. Carefully insert a screwdriver between the coil bottom and the valve body, as seen here, and twist the screwdriver to loosen the coil. Then remove the coil from the valve. We are now ready to disassemble the valve. Carefully loosen the arm to tube and hex nut assembly by using two wrenches, as seen here. One wrench for loosening the assembly, and one wrench for counterholding the valve body to avoid stressing the valve connections and the piping. Then unscrew and remove the armature tube and hex nut assembly, as seen here. Remove the armature and armature spring from the armature tube. Carefully remove the metal gasket from the valve body. If you only need to replace the metal gasket and the O-ring using the seal kit, seen here, then ensure that the armature spring remains located in the armature to be reused as seen here. Please note that whenever you take the valve apart and reassemble it, you should always replace the metal gasket, seen here. When the valve is assembled, this gasket forms a metallic sealing through a minor metallic deformation. This metallic deformation is permanent and therefore the gasket should not be reused since there is then a risk of external leakage once the valve is back in operation. It is also recommended to replace the coil o-ring seen here. This o-ring is by compression sealing against moist ingress into the coil, which might cause the coil to burn out. Since the EVT valve is designed for high temperature operation, the coil o-ring elasticity might get less over time. And if re-reused during valve service, there might be a risk of less sealing capability, risk of moist ingress into the coil, and therefore risk of coil damage. If you need to replace all internal valve parts, then you can use the service kit seen here. Now, for reassembly of the direct operated EVT valve, have a look at the separate video about this and follow the important tips we give. And have a look at the other online learnings about the EVT CO2 solenoid valve. So now you know how to disassemble the EVT direct operator solenoid valve and why it is important always to replace the valve metal gasket and the coil o-ring if you service this valve. This way ensuring that you have a safe and reliable valve operation with minimum service costs.